Friday evening, um, nearly 10 o'clock, I think. Yeah, this is how it looks like when there are six uh, front plates prepared for the Eel V3 or version 3 uh, cases of the DIY batteries. So <clears throat> I'm just just done uh, with the six plates, uh, which took me about, let's say, four hours, maybe, yeah. Um, and I want to share something with you about the new V3 um, version of these eel battery cases. Uh, first of all, I have to say, um, this is not the latest version. There is right now, since begin of this year, or since end of September, they are shipping the ver v4 or version 4 of these kind of cases um the v4 is not that much different um let me show you what's the difference between these v3 and v4 um so on the v4 you don't you don't have two terminals uh, in the front for the plus and minus but there's only one terminal and they are using not anymore this kind of melting fuse like these here internally, but they have a kind of um, automatic switch or, or a fuse switch uh, which is uh, mounted to the front panel. Yeah. So um, not that big, not that big changes. Um, the case basically is the, the same. They told me. Um, uh, unfortunately. Um, at the time when I ordered, and this was uh, end of November or so, uh, those were not, uh, the, the V4 was not uh, available. Yeah. Um, okay. Then uh, I want to show you something. I, I want to give you some support or hints when you um, prepare those front panels. Yeah. Um, Basically, I have to say, um, the first thing which I did, because I have six, six of these cases here, I sorted the, the screws by the screw size, yeah, and put those into the uh, cases. Usually, you will get, for each case, you will get one uh, kind of um, sortiment, or, or how you call this, uh, one kind of case where all the screws are included. What I realized is that our Chinese colleagues from EEL are not able to um, measure these kind of um, screws correctly or, or they don't care and change it. So I had six cases and four, four of these packs were with different kind of screws uh, included, yeah? So, um, also the, the manual is still maybe, or the, the most of the manual is still from the version 2. And you see some pictures here, uh, which are related to the version 2. For example, this picture here. Um, this is how the bus bars have been installed. Yeah, And um, there is, for example, this bus bar included, which is right now this bus bar. It looks different right now it's two parts before it was one part so um, if you start to install this you will struggle a little bit with the pictures uh, on the manual and uh, and uh, have to figure out your own way how to install that um, also I hope you can see this you can see for example this kind of bus bar from the fuse which is coming from the fuse is connected to the outer side of these kind of terminals yeah and the same on this bus bar yeah i did this before like that but first of all um this uh, let, let's talk about this bus bar uh for the fuse connecting the fuse uh, uh, holder uh, with the plus terminals you can connect it on this side, yeah. It will. It's possible to connect it on the outer side of this kind of terminal. So you can you can install it on this side or on this side of the terminals, yeah. Um, why I choose this way to do that? Because um, the fuse or, or the the bus bar was much more easier to bend in this way 
and there's a big advantage of this um, the screws you need to tie those screws later and um, I used um, let's show you I look I used the ratchet uh, without insulation because we are not uh, working under under power yeah and um, you from here you can access the screws really easily from here you see there's not much space to the screw yeah and um, every time you want to access the screw and want to get on the screw you're scratching or you have to touch with the ratchet the this outer side of the uh, front panel and um, this was different uh, when we talk about the it was different when we talk about the version 2 because the version 2 had only a, a, a simple plate without this kind of rounded corners here um, but with this kind of rounded corners and this kind of wall uh, from the side it's it's not that nice to to go from here with the screws so that's why i used this kind of position of the bus bar for these plus terminals um, and the same uh, was also for this bus bar coming from the uh, shunt um, it was much more better fitting on the inside of the terminals and you can access the screws really easily so um, this is one thing I wanted to show you um, the next thing is what I did here and I did this on all these kind of boards um, I used cable ties to get the cables for the um, display and uh, for the on-off switch tied somehow together so the cables are not flying around and they are below the bus bars and later on when you connect the battery cells to it um, you don't have to deal with these kind of cables flying around here um, therefore I need uh, I use this kind of hole so below the shunt there's one hole open and there are no um, kind of SMD parts uh, or modules on the on the board so you can use this kind of hole to fix all the cables and uh, I use the second one to tie it together here so um, this cable is not hanging around and uh, you don't have to make some uh, knots or something like that yeah so I did this for all of those um, yeah so um, okay to recover they changed this kind of this bus bar is different to the v2 and also to the pictures in the manual um, this one mounting on the inside of the terminal this one uh, also mounting on the insides of the terminal and um, yeah one thing to mention is um, this kind of bus bar is uh, also interesting because usually when it comes it's really straight it's it's one line but uh, on the on the area where this kind of uh, shrinking tube is you can bend it and uh, it's much more easier if you bend it uh, beforehand because um, you give it a little bit of pressure down and um, then you can really mount it super easy to this kind of um, terminals for the for the power out and uh, to the fuse holder um, yeah maybe one thing to mention um, what I realized when um, the package came to me was that um, and and this was one give me a second and this was one of the advantages of this case of the newer cases that's why I did not choose the v2 because I have three v2s already over there um, but the v3 and the v4 have this kind of additional terminals and these terminals um, so uh, let me explain you so usually this terminal the bigger bigger connector here um, is for connecting to the uh, BMS and uh, this is for the first eight cells and this is for the second eight cells or, or, or different yeah so maybe for the first eight cells and for the second but it's it's even and you realize that there are new uh, two additional connectors here yeah so they have a smaller connector also here and here and um, those you can use to connect 
to the um, GB active balances. Uh, I ordered mine right now with the active balances. And um, yeah, let me give me a second. I will show you what my issue was. And uh, I explained this already to you because um, they show it here also. So here you can see it. They have this kind of additional connector. So this is the connector to the to the um, active balancer. So it's looking like this uh, and I cannot tell it uh, too often. These kind of balances are a GV, Shenzhen uh, GV uh, model, yeah? And all the other manufacturers like Eel, Heltec, um, Ni, they are rebranding those only. So they never produce those by themselves. They buying it from from one manufacturer and um, the same happens to this yeah so this is a copy of of this kind of gb uh, gws24 eb or something like that it's called yeah um or maybe i can show i can yeah yeah yeah, yeah. here's the on the outside of this which are shipped with the with these kind of uh, uh, cases here you can see GW24S for EB. So this this is the original manufacturing uh, original uh, product number from GB Shen Shenzhen. So um, what happened here? Um, they shipped this kind of um, active balances to me with this kind of harness, and uh, I. I would love to see this kind of harness um, from other manufacturers because the terminals are really clean and crimped and, and so on. Um, but this is not the cable I, I looked for because right now you still have to connect all these terminals between the cells. And I have to do this also with this kind of um, sensor boards, I call those, yeah. Let's take it out with this kind of sensor boards, um, which are included in the EEL case. So you have to put already all the sensors to between the cells so that you can grab the, the voltages from those. And um, so why do I need to do, to do it twice if I have the option to use this kind of uh, connector and put it directly to the, um, to the active balancer? Yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm I'm in touch with uh, Eel, and um, I hope they will ship soon this kind of um, this kind of uh, cables for the active balancer, so that I'm not ha not in need to connect every of these terminals again to one of these cells. Yeah, and um, I will check my my work usually twice, but. Um, this gives you um, a higher chance or a much higher chance to make issues or problems with this kind of setup, yeah, of this kind of uh, DIY cases. Um, what else to mention? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so <clears throat> one thing I, 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 I'm, I want to mention, and uh, I'm just checking on the documentation here, but on the documentation, they are only showing, ah, yeah, you can see it here, they are only showing these, these kind of uh, old style um, cells with welded studs, yeah? So you have this kind of um, M6 uh, uh, thread or so, and you connect it with nuts, yeah? And for those, you need these kind of bus bars, yeah? And this is already a newer version because you can see here there's a, a kind of nut pressed inside the bus bar or um, yeah where you connect for example these kind of uh, cables for the active balancer or these kind of terminals from the sensor board yeah or both at the same time yeah it, it's even you can use and um to be honest this setup will work also i i maybe can do this uh, or make it happen to work but i don't want to have it uh, i really love to see these cables here so um going back to the to the terminals so 
what I did, I ordered six of those cases from, from Eel in November. And I asked lo them, please um, don't give me the the old version of the batteries with the welded studs I showed you before. Um, yeah, with those terminals, but they, the newer ones or the, the latest uh, versions have a kind of a aluminum um, part on top where you have uh, screw holes with M5 or M6 uh, in. So you screw, uh, you have two screw holes. First, you have two screw holes per, um, per terminal on the battery and um, you have different kind of um, bus bars, yeah? So um, these bus bars, hopefully, if they ship me the right uh, battery cells, and those cells are not arrived here, they are at the moment in uh, in transit and uh, will soon arrive here. So I'm preparing all the stuff already so that I can, as soon as the batteries are here, I can start to mount all the stuff and go on with the setups. Um, but I'm a little. I have a little bit of pain in the stomach um, when I think about that. I have these kind of terminals or terminal bus bars here, and uh, need the other version. So, yeah, this is something to mention, uh, which you can check uh, beforehand. So, basically. Uh, I will stop the video right now. We are already at 60 minutes uh, and uh, I'm sorry I'm doing this only in English right now uh, because I think for the ill battery cases the audience is much more better if you're in, uh, if it's understandable for, for everyone out there globally or much better understandable. Um, yeah, so... These are my points, uh, some hints with the bus bars I explained you and my issues and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to get this kind of uh, tower finalized maybe in the next two weeks and um, I'm super happy uh, to have then hopefully 90, 90 kilowatt hours of, um, yeah, of uh, battery connected to my... Um, off-grid murders and my my um, PV setup. So that's it so far. Have a nice evening. Have a nice uh, afternoon. Have a nice morning wherever you are in the world. And um, have a nice weekend, of course. See you in the next one.